Raptors YZ left a comment asking whether or not the Styro Slicer could cut through dry ice. And I'm actually not really sure what would happen if we tried. So I got out my Styro Slicer and I went and picked up some dry ice. So today we can put that experiment to the test. Dry ice is just a solid block of carbon dioxide. So when we set it down on a warm surface like our countertop, it releases a vapor of gas underneath, which makes it float around like an air hockey puck. It's actually not a very good idea to touch this stuff with your bare skin. So for the rest of this experiment, I'm gonna be using gloves. Now, a lot of you will remember my tutorial on making the Styro Slicer. This is designed to use electricity and pump a current through a thin stainless steel wire. This generates a lot of heat and it easily slices through styrofoam. When we power on the Styro Slicer, this thin metal wire can reach temperatures above 1000 degrees Celsius. On the other hand, dry ice is minus 79 degrees Celsius. So what will happen when these two extremes collide? Will the dry ice freeze the wire solid or will the wire generate enough heat to easily glide through the block of ice? Your guess is as good as mine. So let's flip the switch and see exactly what happens. Oh, it's like freezing to my table here. All right, so I just got the wire set to normal power. Let's go ahead and introduce the dry ice and see what happens. We made a little bit of a squealing noise there, like a little mini velociraptor. Hear that? Now look at the wire. It actually cools down very quickly and not making much progress. Let's go ahead and turn up the power. This is high power on the normal setting. Here we go. Yeah, you can see it only gets about an eighth, maybe a sixteenth of an inch into the block and then it just stops solid. Now if I rub it up and down the wire, I can use this kind of like as a wire saw. And that's actually working a little bit better, but it's still not super impressive. I think it's time to crank this thing to overdrive. What happens when the dryest touches it? Ooh, listen to that. You hear that, it's making like a really high-pitched vibration. At this rate, it looks like we're probably moving about one inch every two minutes. So I suppose you could use it to cut a block of dry ice, but it doesn't seem very practical. You'd probably be better off using something like a bandsaw. You know what? The hot wire foam cutter does get pretty hot, but I don't think it's matched for block of dry ice. And I'm cranking this thing up pretty heavy to the point where the wire is going to snap and we're not really making much progress. Oh, and there goes the wire, we just snapped it. So to answer your question, Raptors, it looks like the Styro Slicer will not cut through a block of dry ice, or at least it won't do it very effectively. But the fact that it doesn't actually does make sense. We've got a relatively large and cold mass battling against a relatively small warm mass. And of course this is gonna win every time, which is really too bad because I was honestly hoping that it would. I was hoping we could cut all kinds of cool little shapes out of it, but alas. And you know what's amazing is like, even though I cut into this block, I'm having a really hard time getting it back out. It's like the ice sealed up, and so now the wire is trapped and has to cut its way back out. In fact, it takes so much energy to warm up this block of dry ice that even if we blasted it with a super hot propane torch, you can see the flame barely puts a dent in it as well. You see, two minutes of intense heat from a propane torch and it barely even put a dent in that thing. That is crazy. You wanna hear the most annoying sound in the world? <laughs> so yeah, cutting dry ice with the Styro Slicer, not very effective. Wouldn't recommend it, but it was a fun experiment and I appreciate you asking. So now what are we gonna do with all this leftover dry ice? I do have an idea that involves going outside and using my fish pond and you'll see in the next video what we end up doing with it. Thanks so much for your suggestions and your comments. Keep them coming, and I'll be looking forward to the next video. Talk to you then. Uh... Excuse you. Dry ice is so random. <laughs> <laughs>